I just saw an orb come past the screen. And you're walking, because you're walking on the side of the road, you're tipping over all these, all these stones up and you're always going to keep going. But eventually you come to the end of the road, you turn on to the main road, and you see a couple of houses. And then I wasn't really scared. No, I'm not scared. No, I wasn't. George, you, you've got an orb flying about you. What? You've got an orb flying around you. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> And, and I've you, never you, seen you that know, in my life. It's all these things that are in your head for years and years that they've been told about. You were talking about when the you know Christianity came around, but all the islands have been steeped in, in, in Christian, Christian. All the islands on the west of Scotland, and you would think that that would have got rid of all the, the, the pagan stories and the, all the ghosts and things. No, it's still there, and maybe it's still there. I mean, people don't. Walk about nowadays to drive around, so you don't get the same problem when you're driving. Have you been driving in the middle of the night and it's dark, pitch black, middle of nowhere, and you, and you can't drive in the middle inside the road, car stay in the middle of the road, and you've got you're just walking, driving along, and something tells you in your mind. Maar een rustige van het jaar is. Van die hier nou zijn jaren skiën nog. Ah, dus. Toch taas, toch taas in de rood. Oh, maar 
Adam was on the road going from Cowl to Glasgow. From Glasgow to Cowl. Glasgow to Cowl, on the road, on the way home. I guess she wrote the van, she may hey, I guess threw it in the car at Janat and said, Had about no shin. I guess. Had three friends and in the car. I guess Fashionator Re. Um, Kile Petri and I guess Strahura. It was between St. Catherine's. St. Catherine's Church oh, and. Uh, St. Uh, St. 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 Catherine's, I guess, Strachor. 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 I guess. Strachura, I guess. She she got a shit. Send a vaccinator a rad shows, a carabat shows. She rad a van, I guess, Haro and Nerendahu. Ach, ach, a coolie, a regime, I guess, I guess, a poor regime. So there was. And one end there was uh, one side. Uh, one, one, one side there was uh, there was nothing. It was hot forest. Uh, uh, nothing but uh, nothing but trees. Another side it was just sort of like dark for some kind of sort of. Avoid, avoid the sea. Ah, she wrote the van va 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 crew and then the shin coaches, but the chin and arse ma ma are here to air a share of that. The trees were making a sort of tunnel across the road. As as you do in an old pale boat. I seen cast, I guess ba van nike machine ke ek vier vier goe van ba ba du garach an machine. Last night the wind was awful. Just bloody awful. And she do ba du garach. Du garach is so dark. Aha. Uh-huh. So, so dark. Uh, she, she knew, she knew, she knew solace the van, she, she knew so, so solace she had the chin, the mach when the, when the car about hay, the headlights uh, were here too, aye. The headlights were just eliminating up the road as we were driving across the road. She, she knew solace, that was the only light. I guess, but she, I think it was a doll who, I mean, I mean, can you, her, her mate take a three feet at me in Gakur, my hair too. Three, 60 miles an hour, a long yeah. road. Come on, come on, Lua. An ocean and then solace, he's like a the man that was driving just kept on going, he didn't see the shape in the road. He asked. And he the hacker, he was in jail, he was in a cruise. When they get further and further towards this, this shape, when you get closer to it, she wrote a boy sheen, Gary Kuchigan of a Shisak and the main Raj. There was somebody standing in the middle of the road. That's what they, that's what they noticed. I guess she wrote the hand. She Kuchigan on the Marahirto and the Bearla, Echo Beacon Toshi. Macintoshes. She got all Echo. Erson, Erson, and Nushke, who Malamach. Wait a second. Waterproof clothing. Waterproof clothing. They were wearing, they were wearing Macintosh raincoats. They were doing it, sir. One person in the road was wearing Macintosh raincoats. She wrote a connection in the ocean. 
He was pointing at them, directly at them. On the main garage. In the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. I guess the notion, when doing you have a drive, look at this in a carabat. He said, when fast in a smile, in a smile, I'm going to hear it in a slew. Because the Russian chain, and neither of them are going to do you, she never actually came out to the ocean. They were going slower and slower as he got towards this man. This bigger, this whatever it was. An ocean, Hunnic sheen, grey coochie, and it's not three feet in the bay. Three feet, three feet, plain of bush, rooting machine. Probably about sixty year old. I guess, by fault, by Dolanars, just like by, by, by Cal, Cal Ulch, Eric Jan. He was bald almost. I guess you wrote the van, Eri Henning Sheen, Nastulius, Nastulier and Dunya Sheen, Hatagarika, a guy, eater, the hast, Korhu, Caesar Armachine. He was still pointing at him to get closer to go. Hatagarika, a guy. Didn't move at all, didn't, not, nothing changed, just he was there pointing at him. I guess the notion is that he is a very, very mal and he is a 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 very mal and he They noticed something as he went slowly past this shape that he wasn't pointing at them. I guess he is a he said, I'm going to go to San Marnachroshin Am. He was pointing at something up down the road, at nothing in particular, and they hadn't a clue where it was. I guess he said, I'm going to go to San Marnachroshin Am. They weren't taking any notice of them. Uh, he, he, Aye, aye, they weren't t- taking he, notice. He, he, never took us, he, yeah. he never took any notice of us. By Mar nach Roshinje an den B. It was as if we didn't even exist. By Hast Machine. She euche rapach van, euche fluch du darach gara van. Roth, wet, horrible night. I guess San Marnach Roshinje an den B. By Gira the Korako. Check it on. Machine. You still point. <laughs> As if, as if we didn't even exist, as if a car had never even come past him. It was as if the car passed him and he didn't even flinch. I guess the notion, er a guy seen you shake it, er a guy mouth, the notion, him the whole affairs check in you, er ash. As they went past, they turned round. He turned round. Seen you. You turned round. Haruan. <laughs> 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 That was happening every, you know, oh, oh, so around about two years, every time you went up there. Sometimes you would, sometimes he would, he would try to stay away from the loft, but something was always drawing him back. This is, 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 this
Palana, Šovā, Čelo. Ah, as mães, Paulo, que vai que é muito legal. So his mother and father and he da he da he da boy who was four years old. Was another family. Was another family, right? But they were working. I have to go for that some money to pay. Paulo, as mães, a gente mora por que é muito. Vamos lá, vai acordar de chama. So it was, it was the, the, the young boy, the four-year-old, he loved to go out on the moor, you know, nothing pleased him more than to go out there, you know. And the, the, the father always kept a, a fishing rod for him. So uh, a little bit of string with a hook on the end. No. So you saying he would go and get uh, trout or or or, uh, or hey. herring, herring, aye. Well, just got that in the whole delegation. They were for you. It's for you all. Just got that. Ah, that's what they always ate anyway. They knew the, they knew the herring so well. So when the time came to go home, the wee boy wasn't for leaving. At all. For you, no, no, for you, it's for the gaffy. But anyway, they, they managed it and they, they went they went home. Uh, the next day, after dinner, so there was no sign, the mother couldn't find a trace of the wee boy. <laughs> on the croft, anywhere around. So in, 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 she, she then went round the neighbours to find out who was there. So the, the word went round the, the, the village that you need to keep your eye out for this lad because there's no sign of him whatsoever. And so back to the men who felt this weight on their shoulders. So when they heard this boy had got lost, so he said to the people that were with him, I have a real fear that there's going to be bad news here. I know exactly where he is. And the three of them went out on the moor, down to the loch that was there. When they came close to the loch, when they came close to the loch, when you was to the lock, the thing is that the weight had almost been lifted from my shoulders. But they found the, the boy uh, in, dead in the lock. With his, with his, with his, with his, with his fishing rod. Mm. The two of them went to take him out of the lock. I've been bearing this burden for the last two years, yeah. and this is this is what it's that's been all about. The way that's been on the and so they went home. And so they went home. Don't cry. <laughs> 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 so they say there's the, the, in, in, in the highlands the, 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 there is heard report of something that they call Well, can you fuckle the other home? Of course, there's no. I. Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Can you be a leader? That's his voice. That's his voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've been doing a lot of research and I came across the Galaxy. Transactions in the last kind of hundred or so years. Now these, when the redactions back from 121 years ago, so fresh your mind back 121 years. Imagine you're in. When you were a wee girl, mum. And that. <laughs> <laughs> you could be walking. <laughs> she is. Oh, she is. <laughs> 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 <la
some of these some of these spells or incantations I've got to read out, they were read out roughly about the same night as tonight in November, 121 years ago. You know what And because of the cat academic stuff. Uh -huh. I'll, 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 move I'll, move I'll move on. I'll move on to the next. I'll move on to the next. Try to save me in the last day. No, but. Excuse me. I fall asleep. Can I read them? I fall asleep. Right, first of all, um, there's. Hamegi Lepi. I'll just couple of wee bits and then I'm going to just move on to the bits I found interesting. Um, the first is the spells, or they call it the spelling charms. So now you know we get lucky charms from. Ah. You know, you took your JK Rowling stole the idea. I'm thinking Mary the Serial. <laughs> um, in Gaelic, they're known as Gesa or Sienna. Is that right? Gesa. G O E A S A. Or S I E N A. Charms. Gesa. Gesa. Or Sienna. So basically they were considered as healing charms for, for man and also for the beast that they were working with on the crop. Uh, the yes of the spell is generally quite wicked. So I think that's where you get your kind of wicked witch spells. Uh, 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 um, but as you can imagine, you can't really find any examples of these. This is 121 years ago. Maybe you can pick this up now. You know. Well, there's plenty in now. You know, Carmichael's uh, Carmina Gadelica. Yeah. If you want to find them, they're in there. Um, now, there's other spells called the, the Rosat as well. Um, it still exists today amongst us, although according to this guy, they failed to persuade anybody to reveal it. So, well, it, well it, the whole tradition of this, of course, died, but most of the people who knew anything about it. Ah. So that's just the, same years ago, so that's the same way the history of Scotland died with all the Gaelic speakers. We know very little about what we should. Right, well there was a... Ah, that was pretty there. fucking depressing, wasn't it? We did. We're going to the fairies now, so... Fairies, there you go. She's putting a scale up in her feet now. I'm sure that's where Pa Fee is from, fairies. The fetters of a fairy or something like that. Um, and basically, the Fafi which has already said, poachers once made use of. So if you're poaching, you would use that spell. And then smugglers as well used it. Um, you don't get them nowadays, do you? Fuck. No, don't get them. Smugglers. 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 Yeah. I think they just had them. That's okay. Right. I'm sure I'm not going to share this side, but I want to say it anyway. Fafia, cute lord. Foku, Fokha. Professor Buster. Fovo. Foya. Fovinia. Fovo. Fovilia. Fonian. So they in effect, you can take Misha Reish, Ananya Maha, Halik, Kiss and Spirits now. Ah, we thought she was a piano, 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 look at, so let, let, let the fairies look after you, is that what it's saying? <laughs> so I'll be here for the words. Uh, is this Robert Kirkman's show? She, she wrote the hand, she married a severe like, syn syn syncretism. Now, this is a blend of, of Christian belief and. I know, but this is what I'm saying. This, this is yeah. what I'm saying to uh, Shoris about. It's like, this Aye. whole takes that whole. Right. Separating them apart to thought because people are living in these days were using them both together at the same time. And this oh, this yeah. takes back. It's, it's not just that, it's, it's just up to 30. Oh, look at that. Thank you. 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 Thank
story for you to talk about? Is this Scott's story for us to This is a true story, it's not a totally scary one, it's a true story. Just get out of my TV. Again, the sad story. Uh, she's a tour because she's fairly inaudible above the noise to be in there. Me and Solid. It's my feet and it's Solid from now. Quite often hear stories and lures about people who see who see not just see the light, but see a light. It's my feet in the solid snatch. Um beat in my kin off, Why not to be brothers to us? Oh, right, aye, right, aye. Right. And the source then. Gee, hacker. Source then. What happened? <laughs> the food ride! Oh, 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 Brot. I guess, uh, first. Brot. I speak a Deutsch. I speak half Deutsch. I guess, uh, first. 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 Uh, I'm a hen of a mother. Hey, wait a minute, my grandmother's dead. I'm just hiding the house of catching on an Asian. I just don't believe this in Ireland. What? Jared's a skull! Oh, oh yeah. I see, so you're gonna leave the poor Irish folk to take responsibility for this! Leave him food on the table. I don't think and then. <laughs> That's what we said in here. <laughs> that's, that's, I've had enough of this. I keep leaving the door open just for any to come in. Do you know what I mean? So I've had enough of this. So that's it. That's so, Lee, she's in the stair. He'd only got halfway down the stair. I was cooling a few of And his sister heard that I sound. I guess I guess it's no matter of ounce in Australia. Oh. I heard a sound that would wait the deed in Australia. The Roy Roy he is who's in Australia? I guess Rock Rock. Awesome. It was um, one of these things you've probably heard. I know somebody that this happened to. Well, I can tell you this didn't happen to somebody that's happened to us. And uh, it all started when we took on a shop in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. um, it was owned by the Birmingham Posted Mail, but we took the franchise on it. And, and basically what happened, you went in and you got a very small shop. And if you were any good, you got a bigger shop and a bigger shop. And eventually we ended up with this shop that had four floors. But only one floor was a shop. Uh, the, the ground floor was a shop. And it, it, what it was was a very early version of a supermarket where there was um, toys and crisps and you kind of varied your stock according to the season. So Christmas you would have boxes of chocolates, Easter eggs and Easter all that sort of stuff. We always did the cigarettes which were very popular with the, with the papers etc. So we got up very early in the morning and did the newspapers around about half five, get them out for a second. Anyway. Cut long story short, we got this new shop and we were absolutely chuffed because the bigger the shop, the more money you got. And originating from Aberdeen, it was a great attraction <laughs> to take this shop because you got more cash. So, we moved in. Now, as I say, the shop consisted large ground floor shop which held almost the, the saleable goods. In the basement was a storeroom. In the storeroom there was cigarettes, there was unsold Easter eggs, there was chocolate, not even lots of any stock that had to come up. Um, fast floor, well, we made uh, the lounge, the kitchen was in the first floor as well. And then next floor up, 
was the two bedrooms and the third floor we didn't use and we didn't need it because there was only the two of us but when we arrived there the third floor was locked off the, there was a door on the, the stair up it was padlocked so we, we never went up and we, we actually asked everybody said why is this floor padlocked because we had thought because we had a building, we could actually let that as a self-contained flat because there wasn't access to that flat. Anyway, they said, no, don't go up there, so yeah, fair enough. Now, what I better tell you is, as well as the two of us, we had this German Shepherd, right? Now, in Birmingham, this bloody German Shepherd was a bit of a problem. It was racially prejudiced. I kid you not. This <laughs> bloody <laughs> dog, anybody that wasn't white, it would bite. It was a pain in the ass. <laughs> 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 well, that's about a bloody Birmingham, believe me, there wasn't much in it between Bradford and Birmingham. But anyway, bloody dog. So, 75% of your customers are coloured. Any bloody dogs chasing them for their life? Which is great, you know, so the sales weren't going great until they figured out who the hell it was. Career dog. Anyway. It went on, and then uh, strange things started happening. The girls who were working in the shop would not go into the basement to get stock, because every time they went into the basement, the lights blew. Now, they didn't just go out. Literally every bulb, as you walked, it was a long basement, row of bulbs for each of the different uh, storage areas. As you walked into that area, that bulb popped, and I mean, it did go bang, you know? Next one, bang! And as they walked along, the light. So they then came back up the stairs quite quickly, shall we say, stopping at the loo to change their underwear. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so we had to get the electricians in, and we ran a different line. You know, the bulbs were on a loop, so we put in a new loop all the way around the basement, so that this would happen again. Wrong. <laughs> As soon as the electrician went away, a couple of days later, same thing happened. As you walked along, the ball blew, right? So we didn't think much of that. And then um, we had a customer come in right, and said, Listen, I've come to pay you for the papers because your grandmother was serving. And she only wanted two shillings for 20 cigarettes, a paper, and some sweets. So I'm going to square you up and say, well, No. It's only because me and Diane did the early shift and the girls didn't start until later on. It's only us. I said, no, it was a really old woman, grey hair, quite smartly dressed, a little bit dated of what she was wearing, but very nice, served us. Mm -hmm. okay. So we took the money, couldn't believe it, right? And then about a week later, we had a sales rep come in, who's quite a sensible guy, asked to go and use a little bit. He was gone for quite a while and we said, what are you doing? Well, oh, I'm just talking to your gran on the stair. Had a nice conversation. <coughs> uh, I can't remember what the hell he spoke about. Actually, it was something to the wind barn. Anyway, come back down again. He said, yeah, she's really nice. I said, look, there is no old lady in this house. Pack it in, you know, because I thought he knew the story about the, the old lady. No, he said, Tony, he said, I stood and spoke to her on the stair. Just at the turn on the top of the stair. Where? I chat with her. Where on this there? <laughs> <laughs> where on this there? Right there? Where? where? <laughs> anyway, so it went on, and again, this person kept appearing. We never saw it. I, I, I felt it. was the cold. The, we went up one morning, and the uh, door to the fourth floor was open. Now, it was a hasp and padlock, so the hasp just came across, padlock went in. We never had keys for it because we never wanted to go upstairs. And the dog came up and started growling at the bottom of the stair, right? Because uh, we thought, uh oh, somebody's got in. So we said to the dog, okay, go and see who the hell it is, you know? <laughs> no chance, she would not go up the stairs. So uh, we, fi we fixed the door, put the hasp and that back on. But the cold in that stair, you would not believe. You just would not believe. It's a type of cold that is very, very difficult to describe. It's almost, I don't know if you've ever been in a walk-in freezer where you open the door and walk in and it's like hitting that. It was as cold and as solid as that. And it's a solid feeling. So that was the fourth floor of ours. We just locked it up and tended to forget about it again. But it kept opening. That was the other thing. It just kept opening. And the old lady kept appearing. 
But then she started getting annoyed for some reason and she took all her clothes out of the air and cut them one day and put them in the bath. Honestly. I was not the there, honestly, I was there as well. And all the towels, everything was floating in this bath. Yeah? Well, do we water first? Oh, I. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.